Are you tired of waiting what feels like an eternity for Maya to open up each time you want to use it? So was I, so I took it upon myself to figure out how to get Maya to load up in a fraction of the time. Stick around and I'll share my quick and easy method for speeding up Maya load times. But first, I'm Shane and welcome to Game Dev Academy. This channel focuses on making games and 3D art and includes loads of detailed tutorials, quick tips and product reviews. If that sounds like it'll be useful for you, make sure you target your aimbot at the subscribe button and fire away. Okay, shameless self-promotion out of the way, let's look at how we speed Maya up. First of all, to see how well this works, I did a baseline of how long it takes Maya to open up on my PC. From clicking the icon through to getting a new cube created on the grid. My PC is pretty decent, and Maya 2022 is supposed to be the fastest opening Maya ever. So this should already be pretty quick. If you watch what's happening when Maya is opening up, you can see that it's loading a buttload of plugins. Plugins are great, but Maya assumes we're going to be using them all, and most people will never use most of them. As you can see here, it took 1 minute and 35 seconds to load up and become usable, which does not feel very quick to me. So, here's my super secret amazing tip to stop Maya being slower than a sloth that joined the Night's Watch. First, you're going to go into Windows, then Settings Preferences and click on Plugin Manager. Here you'll see a list of all the available plugins, whether or not they're currently loaded and, more importantly, whether or not they are set to auto-load. Now, go through the list and make sure that no plugins are set to auto-load. So to see how successful this has been at speeding Maya up, let's close it and then open it up again. And as you can jolly well see, this time Maya opens up much quicker and becomes usable almost straight away. What I would recommend is leaving any plugins that you know you use a lot set to auto load. For example, I use Export to FBX quite a lot and leave any you're not sure about turned off. You can always turn them on again in the plugin manager when you realize that you need them. So I know this isn't the most scientific of tests. I know I only did each run once, but I am confident that this will significantly speed up how long it takes Maya to open for you. Give it a try and then come back and leave me a comment telling me how much I have changed your life. You could also give the video a thumbs up to help others find this little nugget of wisdom. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks to my sexy patrons for helping me to make it. If you found it useful, you might also like the video that's linked on screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.